Hey guys, welcome to Bond Xcode Tutorials. Today we'll be learning how to play a YouTube video in your application. It's a really simple and a fast way. Basically when you open your application, it's gonna load and there's gonna be a play button and when you click on it, the video is gonna start playing. And we can also minimize it, share it, and pause it, and fast forward it. So let's get started. So let's get started by opening Xcode and creating a new project. Make sure it's a single view application under application under iOS. And hit next. And um, I'll go ahead and name my project playing YouTube video. And I'll set my device to iPhone. You can set it to anything you want and hit next my language is going to be objective C and I'm gonna save it in my applications folder yours can be anywhere you want and here we are I'm gonna go ahead and make it full screen so that we can get the desktop out of the way go to main dot storyboard and um, I'll go ahead and make my iPhone screen 4.7 inch which is the iPhone 6 simulator I'm doing this since we're not using constraints and uh, in your objects panel go ahead and drag in a web view and we'll adjust the size of it to one third of the screen it doesn't have to be precise because we're gonna change it anyways in the measurements tab which is the fifth tab on the top right and we'll make the measurements the width will be 350 and the height will be 200 and let's go ahead and center the web view now we have a space of the white margin instead of it being attached to the side of the screen now go ahead and open the assistant editor which is the two circles on the top right and once you get in here it should open with view control dot edge but if it doesn't change it at the top of the assistant editor and uh, hold the option key uh, from the UI web view and drag it into the view controller dot edge and uh, this should give a tiny window and in this we will we'll choose outlet and we'll name it web view and make sure the type is also web view and then we connect it and this automatically does the ib outlet ui web view and asterisk web view semicolon for us now let's go ahead and close the assistant editor by pressing the x button on the top right corner and now we'll open uh, vcontroller.m where we'll be doing the rest of our code in view did load create some space for the code and first thing you need to write is ns string asterisk video embed code equals at sign two apostrophes and semicolon we'll get back to that later and next line you write two square bracket self web view close one square bracket load data load HTML string colon video embed code which we wrote on the top line base URL colon nil close the square bracket semicolon Now we go to Google and find the YouTube video that we want to play in our app. I'm just going to go ahead and search our company name, Bodnuk, and the first video that comes up is our channels, and we'll click on the second video, which is more popular, and, and go to the share button, and that should bring up three options, share, embed, and email. Click on embed, and this should give a line of code which we are going to use in our app so go ahead and copy or go ahead and copy right click and copy or command c 
and once you do that go back to Xcode and the first line that we made with add sign to apostrophes paste the whole line in between apostrophes here we want to make line into the red color in order to do that we need to put slashes before an apostrophe wherever you see an apostrophe before it just put a slash wherever you see an apostrophe before it just put a slash so go ahead and do that and then once your whole line is in the color of the red go to main dot storyboard and click on the web view and then go to the measurements panel and find out the width that we put before which is 350 we will put 350 in width section and in the height we will put 200 and now we are done we'll go ahead and run it in the iPhone 6 simulator and there is a simulator playing YouTube video the launch image and it should show a blank screen and if you wait for some time it should load it depends on the internet connectivity and once it loads it shows the title and then the play button and this is only going to work if you have internet and uh, we can fast forward if we want and we can minimize it we can play it again we can share it we can watch it later we can zoom in we can zoom out Thank you.